fuse in an electrical circuit is like an alert traffic policeman, stopping everything if there's danger. A circuit breaker serves the same purpose. And the right size is installed when the wiring is done. A policeman uses his brain to tell him when to blow his whistle. But a fuse depends on the size of the little fusible, meltable, metal link that you see under the glass. If too great an electrical load is added to a circuit, this link will melt and prevent a dangerous overload. If you put in a fuse with too heavy a link, it will not melt in time, and the wiring and equipment may be damaged. Therefore the right size of fuse is very important, and is something that you should check in your own home. The sole purpose of fuses and circuit breakers is to protect personnel, and, or equipment from serious harm, when an overcurrent condition arises. In house wiring typically we install circuit breakers or fuse to protect the circuit wiring from overcurrent condition. What is overcurrent? An overcurrent is a condition which exists in an electrical circuit when the normal load current is exceeded. Can a short circuit create overcurrent condition? Typically yes. Because a short circuit is low resistance path that bypass the normal load and can create extremely high current flow. The type of overcurrent or short circuit and overload condition, which lead extremely high current flow. For example, if we got a 230 volts power supply supplied to 10 ohms load resistance motor, the normal current is equal to 23 amperes under normal condition. Computation with Ohm's law, voltage is equal to current times resistance. But if we got a short circuit as shown in the picture, the resistance relatively low in about 0.12 ohms which leads to abnormal increase of current flow. The circuit diagram shows that the current exceeded to 1916 amperes when the circuit is shorted. By using the Ohm's law to compute the total current, the formula is current equals voltage over resistance. We got 1916 amperes when the circuit is short. Under this condition of the circuit, if we have 30 amperes circuit protection, typically fuse flow or circuit breaker will trip off due to overcurrent flow. Circuit overload condition. An overload is an overcurrent condition where the current exceeds the normal full load capacity of the circuit, but where no fault condition, short circuit, is present. This commonly happens when circuit protection is lower than the full load current of the circuit. Consider the illustration picture of overloaded circuit. We have a 25 amperes circuit protection installed, and we have three load resistance in parallel of 10 ohms each. This condition will signal the circuit protection to trip off due to overcurrent passing through the circuit. If we compute the total current in this circuit, we use the Ohm's law formula, current is equal to voltage over resistance, and we have a total of 69 amperes current in the circuit, so the circuit is overloaded, and if we don't have fuse or circuit protection device installed, it may cause the wire to get hot and damage the wire insulation all over the circuit. So, it is very good practice to use proper circuit protection device in every types of load we have the circuit to avoid damages or fire. Know the load current of the circuit, compute and do all math involved before proceeding to the guidelines. Thanks for watching.